Hi Aries, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Dimes. This is your What the Fuck reading. 15th to the 21st of February. Um, lovelies, keep in mind these are general readings. They are not meant to resonate for everybody. Take what you can, leave the rest. Please like, share and subscribe for me. It helps no end. Um, yeah. So let's get on with your reading. Now normally I only pull one energy card. But I've let the two go because it's almost like this is telling you a story in itself. And this is Tsunami and Wake Up Call. It's like you've had a rush of thoughts and feelings. And this huge wave has come over you. And you're having to bring yourself back into focus it may be an idea to align yourself with some crystals if you don't have any other crystal in the whole wide world and the universe go to a crystal shop and see what you're attracted to and just buy one crystal that you are attracted to don't worry initially what a crystal is supposed to do for you worry about what it is that you're attracted to i've never been a great lover of brown crystals but i have to say i now have one two three four six because i was attracted to them and this one is my latest one and i have to say i am so incredibly in love with this so just go this was this wasn't even on display in the shop. This was on the counter under a pile of rubble that they were packing up. And I said, is that sold? And they said, no, no, it's not. And I just had to have that. And that, my darling, is a chocolate calcite. But it was just, it just needed to come home with me. It really did. So that's what I want you to do. If you don't do anything else, is just see what you are, you are attracted to. Um, if you see anything on the table that you particularly like, give me a shout and I will tell you what it is and what you need to look for. So, my darlings, let's get on with your readings. I don't know where that came from. It was, I really don't. So, your reading, 15th to 21st of February. I hope everybody had a decent um, Valentine's, even if you didn't get to celebrate with somebody else, I hope you got to celebrate yourself and pat yourself on the back because we've all coming through this pandemic, we're coming um, to up to a year, um, especially in the UK in March, um, and I have to say that, um, pat on the back for everybody who's gone through it, been through it, dealing with it, um, just because it's been so difficult, it really has. So, lovelies, we've got what started your what the fuck. And now we want to see you facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Being a bit tight, Aries. How's Aries going to face their fears and take their power back? Okay. Really? All right. That's your manifestation and your wish fulfillment. Movement and journey. What the fuck you can do about this situation. Okay. What's out of your hands this week? The reconnecting to your true self, my lovelies. How's Aries going to reconnect? Thank you. Oh, nice. Ooh. So, my lovelies, your outcome, what the fuck is happening next? Thank you. Nice. 
okay my darlings what started your what the fuck this week you had a bit of an aha moment you had the ace of wands come in a new beginning around project plans or people and i'm kind of getting for you that it was really passionate it was very desirable and then i'm kind of getting that it fell a bit flat and the reason for that is because facing your fears and taking your power back you've gone quiet you shut up and you've literally shut down you've literally shut down you've got i am not moving i'm not looking i'm not seeing i'm not hearing i am just going to go within and work this out for myself i'm going to listen to my intuition and by doing that you have stepped into your power partially um but not fully because it's not like you um to go within your head it's like you to react to something but something has made you back off from that reaction and go within to try and sort this issue out and i'm not getting that something particularly went wrong but i'm not getting that it particularly went right either it just went flat is what i'm getting see normally i would say you are drawing energy down from the sun and those cherries are plump and ripe and i didn't get any of that from the card i just felt you felt like it was a new beginning and then nothing how odd is that and perhaps that's your wake up call i'm focusing so moving into your manifestation your wish fulfillment you have got the ten of a fame is this is a completion of your problems this is you now using all of your issues and problems that you have ever sorted out as your protective circle that you know how to deal with everything now you've been through the ring and you have done all of this and now these things stand in your protection they look after you they keep you very safe and i'm getting that the manifestation around that is i'm kind of getting that somebody tried to take that away from you somebody tried to come in and to, i'm getting teaching you how to suck eggs um and you went uh uh no i'm in this circle you can't touch me and it's almost like th this is th this is who it was outside of this circle um and it's sort of like you needed protecting from these people um your fire your passion needed protecting because i'm i'm getting this little feeling like a fire's gone out you know, like when you've had a blazing fire over in the garden or like, like I've got a wood burning stove. When that goes out in the evening, I'm like, oh, I don't want it to go out. Um, but I know it's got to. Um, I know it has to. I still don't like it. I don't like those flames, kind of. And being an air sign, I like to fan flames quite a bit. But I'm kind of getting, this is all a bit more. And your manifestation is, is you taking that control back, getting your completion back. This is you knowing that you are heading for a new beginning. So on your movement, your journey, oh wow, where the fuck you need to be, lovelies, is you need to be out on a quest with somebody. This is the two of wands. This is a fire card. Do you understand this? You're questing after something. It's out of your comfort zone. It's out of your reach at the moment. But you know as well as I do that if you go out on this journey, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, sensual, you will get what you want. But I'm getting that there is two people to this journey. And I'm getting at the moment the second person is not around because you have felt so overburdened with something else you have not been able to reach out and now you've realized that this burden does not fucking belong to you and now you are completing it and you are putting it down and you are giving those ones back to who they belong to it's okay to support people it is not okay to walk their path for them that you become so overburdened yourself that you cannot see the end of your own path so what you can do about the situation, darlings, is reach back into your past, whether it's recent past, long-term past, reach back into your past and find that feel-good factor, that moment in time where you felt completely safe and completely loved. Reach back to that moment where something or somebody 
meant something to you where it was okay for that to be and recharge that feeling is right in behind that six you've got a new beginning with the witch she is the number one in the deck and they're asking you go back to basics work with all of the elements earth air fire and water and the reason for that is earth is for grounding air is for thinking fire is for your passions and desires and water is for the emotions that flow through your veins darlings you really do need to get back to basics but they're also asking you when you go back to basics renew your circle of protection and lovelies don't get into the throes of protect 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 don't do that because protection is not rejection okay when you're protecting yourself that doesn't mean you don't let the good in it just means that you keep what is disturbing you what is making you feel um Oh, it's making you feel that you are being pushed and you just want it to go away. You just, I'm getting that you don't physically want to do anything about it, but you just want it to fucking disappear. Because it is making, they say it's making you feel. It's kind, it's kind of like you're feeling cornered. And they're saying, no, don't feel cornered, don't reject good things, just keep the things out of the circle that have got ifs, buts and maybes around them. Just don't, don't entertain them. So what is out of your hands this week, darling? Um, I'm getting the feeling that you're facing some spilt milk. You're facing something that you really are feeling that you have to let it go. That it's, it's already spilt, it's already done, it's already da, 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 all of that. And you're convincing yourself, oh, it's got to go, it's got to go, it's got to go. And the reason the universe has lifted it out of your hands is because they're saying, no, it's not. No, it fucking isn't. You hold on to this. You hold on to this. This is the five of chalices. They're saying to you, keep that chalice in your hand. It is not all done. That's why they're not letting you act upon it. That's why it's not in your main reading. And the universe lifted it up out of your way. Because right now, with all this flatness and whatever's going on around you, they're saying this one isn't done. This one, you can hold on to. This one is for you. It was meant for you. How it came to feel like spilt milk, only you can tell that story. But the universe is definitely not allowing you to let the wind take it. And they're not allowing you to let the universe dissipate it. They're holding it. And they're saying, uh-uh, you hold on to that chalice. You may feel like it's spilt, but it's not. There's still stuff in that chalice. And you need to hold on to that. So, lovelies, reconnecting to your true self. You need to tap into your own magic areas. You really do. You need to understand that... With the Sith, she's either described as a fairy or a witch, but she draws energy down from the moon and from the goddess. And she has got this well-equipped kitchen. She's got this well-equipped way about her. All of her recipes and everything are in her head. She allows people to come in and fey, fey folk to come in to add to that magic because she knows it will enhance and not harm. And I'm getting that you are a well-equipped, intelligent person and that your kitchen is well stocked. Now, whether your kitchen is a kitchen or it's degrees up to the wazoo or it's a workshop, it doesn't matter. You are well equipped to deal with what you what you do. And you make magic. You make dreams come true for other people. So how comes you're not having a dream come true for yourself? Because you've had a wake up, a close call, a wake up call. And this tsunami is coming to wash it away. And then it's saying, focus, get focused. Because you've still got that magic. You can still make magic for other people. Um, that pot is just full of magic. It really is. Um, and that's how you're going to reconnect to your true self. Is to understand the magic isn't just for other people. It's for you as well. And darlings, your outcome is your harvest card. This card, my lovelies, there is somebody in the doorway who is looking out for you, looking after you, loving you, loving your home. 
and you are standing looking at this harvest and I'm kind of getting for the very first time that you're looking at this harvest wondering how the fuck this happened because it's going to come in so quickly you know you've sown the seeds for this but it's going to come in so quickly that you're going to kind of go okay how did that happen and what do I do with it trust when it comes in you'll know exactly what to do with it look at this at the end of the deck you have the crone she has walked this pathway many many times gathering knowledge and wisdom and her companion offers her strength to continue her journey she is a witch you've got a lot of witches in this reading i am kind of thinking aries if you are not a witch you may be attracting a witch male or female um and i'm not joking i'm flaming serious because even the ones that aren't witches have got witches hats it's, honestly just be aware of that if somebody comes and says to you i'm a witch take the word for it um even if they say oh i practice earth magic they're a witch just go go with it it's fine so darlings you are gathering strength through your knowledge and wisdom around this issue and it is going to stand you in good stead for the future let's get a whispering woods card for you for the week Ooh. and you have renew and it says nature continuously renews itself year after year and what i guess they're saying is that you need to renew yourself aries so my darlings let's get some knowledge wisdom i can't come out quick knowledge wisdom and guidance from the angels and ancestors for aries for the 15th to the 21st of february Okay, darlings, let's find out what you've got. You have got the guardian angel. You are not alone. You have broken arrow. Enhance the energy of peace. You have the lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. I have to say, Aries, I'm wondering if you're dealing with a Virgo. Now, I was thinking that at the beginning because Virgo pulled this crystal card out, Focus. But they also pulled out um, this card, the Lady card as well. Although your readings are polar opposites and that may be the wake up call is that you two really are really good as separate entities but when you come together not so good and if it's not of it's somebody who's got, got earthy signs around them so that's capricorn virgo or taurus trader exchange energy to create abundance and sage be devoted and committed aries that's your reading 15th to the 21st of february wherever you are in the world my lovelies Please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.